country. We're just 65 days away from the Rio Olympics, live here on NBC4. Not all of the U.S. Olympic teams are set yet, but one local athlete is fighting for more than just a spot. Yeah, she is also determined to improve the lives of the less fortunate. Fred Rogan here now to share her story with us, Fred. i got to tell you guys something. I'm very impressed that we have a live shot of Rio directly behind you. That is quite <laughs> impressive. I, you know, we're sparing no expense on this. Every athlete pursuing their Olympic dream has been through a few setbacks. The cyclist Amber Neven has had more than her share. Diagnosed with spinal meningitis when she was four, doctors said she wouldn't survive. She made a cancerous melanoma in 2003. She's been through a lot, but that doesn't stop her from giving everything she's got. Adversity is not if, it's when. If you haven't faced it, you're going to. And when you do, how are you going to respond to it? Amber Neiman has had to respond over and over throughout her life. She's been to two Olympics, training for her third. But if there's anything this Lake Forest resident knows, it's adversity. That's why she's helping youngsters through similar struggles. But we want to make you a member of our cycling team, okay? So you're officially one of my teammates, okay? All right. <laughs> Amber founded her own nonprofit, donating bikes to disabled children. Today, it's seven-year-old Davis Galuso. Scouting Davis's hand cycle, the Dare to Be project has given away nearly 650 bikes. All right, Davis! The bike is really becomes a tool to just share the encouragement to persevere, especially for somebody like Davis who. You know, they hope he's going to walk again, but it's going to take so much work. Oh, you are. I know, you're, you're doing great. You're doing awesome. Davis was diagnosed with leukemia when he was two. Chemotherapy took a toll on his body. He lost all movement in his legs three years ago. But recent strides have given Davis' family hope that he'll walk once again. And moments like this, moments made by Olympians, certainly help. I think it just helps him to feel more normal, because now he can ride a bike. So... You know, his brother and sister have bikes, so now he can go out with them. Instead of just being in a wheelchair, he's in a bike. See how much faster he can go? Yeah. Cool, huh? Amber wants Davis to dream big, to dare to be more than he could imagine. Even with an Olympian by his side, it's going to be hard to top his dreams. What place are you going to come into the Olympics? First. <laughs> Good luck to Davis. As for Neven's Olympic dream, she's one of 10 road cyclists battling for four potential spots. Called herself a dark horse, but she certainly has the experience to get it done. Carol. Uh, Fred, thank you.